This boat is actually very maneuverable, isn't it? Oh, I hit a stick. <laughs> it was like, oh, just yeah, died. I see, I Did see. you see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Where is I see it. I, I see you just hit it again. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I, I can probably see it better than you because I got this zoom. Oh my gosh. You can get around it. There you go. Nice and hug that. Yeah, right there. There you go. Oh, turn, yeah. turn, turn, turn. You did it. You did it. <laughs> yeah. High octane action. <laughs> if you ain't first, you're last, Bobby. Oh, oh, oh no. Hold on, passengers. Oh no, did you get hung up? Did you wedge it? <laughs> go backwards, go backwards. Oh no. Okay, forward. Get it to twist. Now hold. I don't know. This is not good, Abby. This is not good. Guys, welcome back to the end. Oh, it's sad. The end of RC Boat Week on the RC Sailors on YouTube. Guys, today we're going to take a look at this very cool military style torpedo boat. I had this in mind when I told you I had something kind of special planned to end boat week, but if you missed yesterday's Miss Geico boat, that was actually a very special stunt boat. What? That was fun. Today though, we're gonna take a look at this little RC. It's a, it's a budget option. It's nothing fancy as far as performance goes, but if you see here, the attention to detail on this, I want you guys to get a close look at this because if you like scale boats and like military boats, this could be one for you as long as everything works you know we're going to test it for you let you know if it's worth your hard-earned money and at the end of this video we're going to let you know what my favorite boat of boat week is and what abby's favorite boat of boat week is so that you have something to go off of remember we've tested about a hundred rc boats now so we're going to steer you in the right direction we have a pretty good amount of experience and i'll have the boat week playlist popping up right here if you've missed it this is such a cool little boat. There's actually a red light in there. If you can see that, it's very dim right now. But if you were driving this at night, that is a nice scale, a little extra attention to detail. A little red light in there. They would use red lights so they're not as bright, you know, if they needed to see their paperwork and stuff. Anyway, we're gonna power this on. The interesting thing here is that shows an on-off switch there, and it's saying to touch here. So I'm going to touch this and hope I don't get shocked and die. Let's see. That's weird. Why is it telling me to touch that? It's like the contacts and it's showing on off there. Oh, this is confusing, but the light's on. So let's hope that when this one touches water, it works. <laughs> um, I'm afraid because of, of the, the, <laughs> the yellow boat. Yeah. Look, I can actually, the water's higher today. It is higher because it rained yes, so. and it's freezing. There, okay, there, it's touched working. water Good and job. it works, so it needs to touch water. Oh, I didn't show the back of the boat. Radio on first. I think these are the metal contacts that have to touch water in this case. Okay. Then the boat is on with a nice big giant battery. Ah, there we go. Ah. There we go. I should mention this radio. It is a very cheap, chintzy little radio. Nothing special at all. But wow, this looks good. The water looks good today. Everybody's been commenting on the blue water. What makes water so blue? I think it's the minerals in the water, the algae in the water, the rock type around. I've it's heard a that, springtime thing around here. I've heard that yeah. copper can make it that, that way. Now this is taking some wide turns. I thought it would look really good in this creek rather than at the big lake. Plus it's insanely windy today and there's no wind back here. So look at that. Doesn't that look good? Uh -huh. That's full speed and everything. This is a very simple little boat. That's full speed. Just that is a go. peaceful boat. Very peaceful. I'd like to see a little smoke machine on this to add some oh scale <laughs> looks to it. That's, this is a very simple boat, guys. Just like the first boat on the channel this week, listen to the radio. It's clicking, so it's either all or nothing when it's on. When it steers, it is all or nothing. Okay, it's just on or off, and it's a differential thrust. <laughs> All my boats are different for us this week. There's two motors on the back. So, you know, you're either getting one on on one side to, to make it spin, to make it turn, right? When you steer it, it's literally just turning one of those motors and one of those props. When you spin it the other way, turn it the other way, uh, it's just one prop rotating, the other one's off. And then when you're driving it, both of them are going. I'm glad to report though, that it's driving straight and predictably. And then let's see how reverse works on it. 
We kick reverse in, and that's actually one of the best working reverses I've ever seen on a boat. It actually makes it go backwards and it doesn't just suck it underwater. <laughs> All right, let's get quiet and drive this around for just a minute without talking. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm really happy about this thing. So here's something cool. That was cool. almost a new <clears throat> record, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <You remember. clears throat> Here, here's something cool about this boat. Watch this. So I'm driving and I start to turn and that's a nice wide turn. If I want to turn sharper, I let off throttle and I just hold steering and it turns sharper. So we have two different ways to steer this thing. If you want to turn wide, hold throttle and steering at the same time. If you need to turn sharper, let off throttle and just hold the steering and it definitely turns significantly sharper. So that's actually more advanced than the little speed anchor boat, uh, the black and green one that we had on the channel at the beginning of this RC boat week. I'm really enjoying this. I know it's a very big difference between yesterday's boat, this Geico stunt boat <laughs> and this, but for me, this is very relaxing, a very nice calm way to bring us back down after driving something so cool and exciting. And I can definitely find enjoyment in this. It's just like driving a crawler. It's getting lost in the scale world. I feel like we're actually driving through the rivers of maybe, you know, Viet Vietnamese rivers and um, I don't know, I'm making stuff up, right? <laughs> but it just seems like something that would be real. Okay, my turn. Abby, don't wreck my boat. <laughs> what was that? Challenge accepted. Oh, I like this thing a lot. I hit the stick right here. No, don't hit the stick. Oh, that's such a nice boat. Don't do that. Oh, you just chopped it right up. <laughs> Chop it up. I'm just... <laughs> Look at that, guys. The water's so crystal clear. It's so cool. Where are you going? I'm driving. The wind picked up for Abby. Wow. You can. It gets pushed around a little bit in the wind. I think if we took it to the actual lake, it would have been really difficult to drive this so I wouldn't drive it in too much wind oh I like this thing I really do so what about you guys when you drive an RC boat do you need speed in your life do you does it have to be fast or are you cool with a very scale boat like this this reminds me a lot of our Titanic boat This would be a good boat to help rescue other boats, especially if it had like a flat hull. What are you doing? Hitting stuff. <laughs> it's not a demolition derby boat. It could be. <laughs> we should have a demolition derby. We should have battleship wars on our channel. Oh my gosh. I feel like this one could win. I want to see this versus the, the Titanic. No, not oh. that would be pretty funny though. Um, versus that tugboat that shot the water. Oh ah, <laughs> yeah, funny. that was a good boat. I like that boat. Actually, I should say present tense. I still like that boat. I like this pace of a boat. Me too. Nice. I'm telling you, just calming, peaceful. peaceful. We all need a little bit of that anti-anxiety in our lives. I encourage you guys, if you do, listen, not if, every single human being has anxiety, okay? We all do. We all feel it. I highly encourage you guys to, to just get any RC. If you don't own an RC, get one. It gets you outside. You get fresh air. You, you zone out into the world of whatever you're driving. Everything goes away. You turn your brain off for a little bit, and you just enjoy RC. Super peaceful. Uh, even if it's a super fast or powerful thing, it's just way more fun than uh, real you life most of the times. Do you think it could fit under that stick over there? Um, yeah. Oh, that's a cool spot. Yes. Well, there. you know what? We have a couple boats with us still. I'm doing it. If it gets stuck, well, the one she's going to go. Dead. The one battery is dead. Well, yeah, it would. We still have, I think, oh. one or two with us. Oh. Yeah, the wind is. Remember how you can turn oh, sharp. No. This boat is actually very maneuverable, isn't it? Oh, I hit a stick. <laughs> it was oh, like, yeah, did I see, I see. Did you see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. 
Where is I see it. Like, am I I see you it? just hit it again. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I, I can probably see it better than you because I got this oh zoom. Gosh. You can get around it. There you go. Nice and hug that. Yeah, right there. There you go. Oh, turn, turn, yeah. turn, turn. You did it. You did it. That's what I'm about. <laughs> that entertainment yeah. right there. <laughs> High octane action. <laughs> if you ain't first, you're last, Bobby. <laughs> wow. Oh no. No, no. Well, take that. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 11 times zoom, zoomed right there. Wow. Oh, don't do that to them. I know. Pixelate, but I want people to see it. They can see it. Let's see, can you fit under? Oh no, depth perception. Oh. <laughs> okay, one more time, and I have got to try the limbo with the torpedo boat. Oh, and we have to tell everybody what our favorites are. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Hold on, passengers. <laughs> oh no, did you get hung up? Oh, no. Did you wedge it? <laughs> go backwards, go backwards. Oh no. Okay, forward. Get it to twist. Now hold. I don't know. <laughs> This is not good, Abby. This is not good. <laughs> Guys, do you see? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me let me give it a shot. No. You want to get it? Do you understand, guys? This is on the other side of this. Yeah, but we can get over there. Look, I, I got think it. We, oh, good. Okay, okay, okay. Hold you could get over there. You just had to go up on the highway and then... Okay, come all right. It was not... I could have got it with a stick. Okay. We were fine. <laughs> had me worried. <laughs> I like my torpedo You're just boat. trying to criticize me so you no. get to drive this. Oh, yeah, well, that you might be like true. my creativity with where I'm driving. I like it. I don't, now this is like, you just want to take control. What is this? The third, I know you. third time we've been here and we didn't think to go under the limbo stick? Maybe maybe because when the water was lower, it wasn't. I don't think was the limbo stick here the other day. I don't think so. I don't Look know at if that. It was. See, that's even coming back to the same spots. We have new things to look forward to. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you do the limbo stick. <laughs> I'm going to be the one that gets stuck if I do, I know it. <laughs> Alright, let's see if you can do it any better. Focus, 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 focus. You know, this battery too, guys, just so you know, will probably last forever. It's one of those giant NICAD batteries, or nickel metal hydride, I think. And this is so slow paced and like sluggish. Oh, you know what? Sorry, guys. Have I spoken too soon? We may have a weak battery. It feels, yeah, I can tell. I got to bring this back, Abby. I, I was. Yeah, I you're, too just, soon. you're just scared Listen, of it the is, limbo no, seriously. stick. Okay, we'll come back. We'll come back. But look, it's like off on, off on, on oh, the throttle. It? So okay. I do not want to get stuck in the middle. <laughs> it's just barely giving me enough funny. power to come back. I wow. like this boat. <laughs> oh, I like it a lot. But look, see how it's like I see, uh, twitching a little? You got to kind of pay attention to to that and know when your battery's low. Okay. See, the water's higher. What are you reaching for? What are you reaching for? Give me your hand. Give me a real hand. <laughs> Do not let go. Do not let go. <laughs> there we go. Is there a need to do a water test on this boat? No, there is not. But I will show you guys the hatch here. So that twists on the back. This little bit comes up and no water. Yeah. See, there's the little light. <laughs> it's nice. just, you know. Ooh, that looks good. It is it? good light. <laughs> And we twist this and this, and there's our battery. Yeah. Cool. It didn't take long to charge. We got a pretty long run time out of it. Maybe maybe we could have gotten a bit longer, but I didn't want to push it. So that's pretty good, pretty average run time. I like this because I like the way it looks a lot. And I love the fact that when it steers, you can steer with throttle for wide turns, let throttle off, and take a much sharper turn. For a boat that has two motors like that, that's actually a lot of control. So huge fan of that. Okay. So everybody probably wants to know our two favorite boats. I have a pick and you have a pick. And after, now this is, so I love how this looks, okay? But I laughed hard and I got so pumped and so excited for that Miss Skyco boat. And that was your boat. You picked that one out. I did. Like I picked this one out. You picked that one out. But you definitely picked out the best and most fun. And you know what? It was the most expensive <laughs> too. So. But it did something different. After driving a hundred boats now, the Miss Geico. The Miss Geico is talking my about. way. Yeah, definitely because it brought the most fun. It was like driving a freestyle 3D boat. That's what I felt like I was driving. So for fun factor alone, and the way it looks and the hobby greatness of it all, the Miss Geico is definitely my favorite. What about you? I would have picked the Miss Geico 
but it's not really fair when you take an almost $200 boat and compare it to four other like $40 right. and $50 boats. Yeah. Um, so with that being said, I want to give a special shout out to my favorite budget boat of this week, which was the black and red Ishin. Ishin. Yes. Yeah. Good pick. That would be my pick too. Uh, if, if we happened to have another budget boat in the category, that one would have won. It's an amazing RC boat for a quarter of the price of the Miskaiko. It is everything that I would want in a budget RC boat. It's absolutely perfect. It has water cooling, self-riding. It steers really well. It has high, high and low rates and speed. It's just a very good boat. It even handled the wind really well on that cold day. So two really solid boats. I think depending where your budget is, if for performance and fun factor, the Miskaiko or that Ishin boat are solid winners. And if you're going for the scale look, I'd hit this one up. Absolutely a very good boat. Guys, all the good stuff is linked in the description box below. And just know that if you use those links, we'll link our favorite boats, the videos to them. It does help support our channel and our family, which means a lot to us. And for getting boat week one, to you successfully, I think a very successful first boat week of 2021. I wanna thank the big guy upstairs. Thank you, God, for getting us out here, finding cool new spots to drive these boats and just being able to get the videos just done. We, we have so much fun getting out here doing them, but also getting that content to you guys. I hope you enjoyed boat week too. It's always a really fun thing to have a themed week and be able to you know bring that to you guys, let you know what our favorite pick was. Would you guys like to see a budget plane week? on the channel, I hope, hope so, because I've got my eye on a few. If you say yes, I'll pick out two or three more and we'll bring you a budget plane week to our channel. Massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we could not do our channel without you guys. We'll have, I think we should probably have the Miss Geico video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching, we'll see you there. Bye.